figure. I can't win a 1.5 to 1 odds race, but I can win a 10 to 1 odds race. Ah, uh, I don't get it. But now I can store some cookies. And yeah, you gain the number of cookies equal to the number you bet times the odds of you winning. So, 10 to 1 with one cookie gets you 10. If you get 3 on it, you get 30. That's a lot. I want... all I want is, uh... I want to have 2. So that I can show... what happens with them. Because there are two possible things that can happen. So... Now that I have that, we can go on. <laughs> ah, hello there everyone! Doc on the clock with more Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. We're progressing to the third, well, uh, third map. I suppose it's technically we've seen more than three, because we've seen the Bowser Castle one, but that's technically the last one, so. The third map. In Timolville. Now, we've been here briefly, but, uh, now we're actually going to be here and, uh, do all the stuff that really needs to be done. So as you can see, Moleville has a lot of moles. Uh, the moles are not bad guys, thankfully, because I have a bad history with moles. <laughs> but I will try to keep myself, um, uh, PC here. Anyway. Dinah went to the town. Little Mite. Yep, that's the pun. But a star crashed into the mountain, and now they'd be trapped. They're kind of, uh... These guys are kind of southern fried cornbread, but no way am I going to be trying to do that. <laughs> that type of accent. I'm just going to... Just going to go with it. So... There's a star in the mount Moleville Mountain. There's also trapped kids in the mountain. What are we going to do? Uh, we're just gonna save it. Clearly we're gonna have to go in there, but let's, uh, chat around town a little bit first. Another girl up here. It's an emergency. Dinah's trapped in the mines. Well, you were very helpful. A pretty star crashed down into the mountain. I wanted to see it, but Mama told me it was too dangerous. I said she'd go find and find out what's happening, but she's so sure taking her sweet time. Yeah, there's just all sorts of uh, emptiness going on around here. Maybe eventually we'll find some people. My mom and pa are helping out in the mountain. Well, the reason there's no people around is because they're all in the mountain trying to dig out the missing kids, but. Uh, Eh, as usual, it's gonna be up to Mario, so let's get up and... What was that? Oh! Well, hello there, Bowser. You don't seem happy. And your army seems a lot smaller than usual. No Koopa, no Koopa Troopas at all, huh? Bowser, most of our allies have run off. What would we do? We've only had experience fighting Mario. These new guys are too much. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Mario can kick their ass, so you should be able to as well, if you've got, if you've had experience fighting Mario. I mean, granted, you don't do better <laughs> against Mario than they do, but still. I'm gonna put up some fight. <laughs> Shut up, all of you! I'm the biggest, baddest brute around, and don't you forget it, but if Mario hears that I've been kicked out of my old castle, my reputation will be ruined! Even I have an image to keep up, you know? Um, uh, Bowser? Uh, you know what? Uh, let's, let's just let you have this. Let's show them who's the boss around here. So they walk off right by Mario, who he didn't want to overhear. I guess he's kind of down there, so Bowser being the unobservant guy he is, probably didn't notice. But over here we have moles. A star dropped into the mountain and trapped some kids inside. It makes things first, one of the men folk will be stuck inside too. Please, Mario, you gotta help us. What's happening up there? Is she still working up a sweat? Yeah, and so are the men. Everyone's digging and digging. I can't keep up with them. 
So we got a bunch of moles in kind of crisis mode. I knew it was bad news when that star fell on the button. Sure enough, it's causing trouble. Well, it's bad news, all right, but for more reasons than you realize. These bushes are kind of weird. But there are no secret, uh, there are no uh, hidden treasure chests in this uh, area, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time working on it. Menfolk are doing their best from the outside. Uh, from the inside, I'm digging in from the outside. We got to help the folks out. Nice to see that in this game. But both genders have come together and kind of futilely work towards their uh, intended goal until the hero comes and naturally takes over and saves the day. See, everyone can be useless. <laughs> Mamo. Oh dear. I sure hope the kids are okay. I know how you're feeling, but moping around here ain't gonna help a thing. Why are there quotes around that? <laughs> Until she runs off. That's what I told her, but I don't know I'd be, if I'd be feeling any different if I was her. We're getting nowhere fast. We'll never reach the kids at this rate. See that up there? That's the old entrance to the mines. But we can't reach it anymore. If only that fellow uh, Mario were here, he could reach that in a heartbeat. What? Well, speak of the devil! Well, I'll be a Goomba's uncle if it ain't him at the flesh. Mario, you're a lifesaver! Mario, have you heard the news? Well, we've heard... You can get a recap if you haven't, but, uh, it's not gonna tell you anything new, really, so... Will you help rescue them? Well, of course, we're a nice guy. Well, there's the entrance up there. Here, hop up on our shoulders. And that's what we gotta do to get up. And from here on, time to just do stuff. We are in the Mobile Mountain. Alright, we got a couple of new enemies and a couple of, uh, and at least one old one. These Sparkies here, they are, uh, they're the same ones that we got from, the, that we saw in the... The Pipe Vault! Before we go too far, though, I'm gonna try Yoshi Cook. Yoshi Cookie! Yoshi will come out and try to eat an enemy. And he'll turn the enemy into an item. The monster became fire? Oof. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Uh, so these enigmas, they are... Uh, big pig head, flying pig heads made up of smaller flying pig heads. They're also kind of powerful, so you gotta be careful. Uh, before I go, go on, I'm gonna try something. Oh wow, firebomb. Well, that's an easy way to get firebombs. Goodness. I want to show off what happens if... Oh yeah, good. If Yoshi can't eat an enemy, he'll instead give us a Yoshi candy. That recovers, I think, 100 HP, so it's pretty nice. And that's why I wanted two Yoshi cookies. So, as you saw, that uh, Enigma used Echo Finder, which did damage and silenced Gino. If you have a wake up pin, uh, Gino won't be silenced. So, here we have Magmites. These guys have high defense, which is. And they also drop Lucky Flowers. Their attack? Pretty simple. They just clunk you on the head. They're not very strong physically, so they're not going to be much of a danger. Um, but they do, uh... They, do, they can take a little while to beat if you don't have yourself properly equipped. Oh hey, I was lucky. I'm properly equipped. I have work pants on. Normally, if I come in here without work pants, Gino's the only one who can do upwards of 20 damage. But here, Gino's hitting them hard, Mario's hitting them hard. He and Mallow would be able to probably knock him out in one turn. They don't have a ton of HP, so... Like, 24 HP or something like that, so... Not that difficult. Ah, more new enemies! We have the familiar Bob-Omb. These guys will, uh, 
their attack is basically charging you and exploding. It does a decent bit of damage, so taking them out uh, earlier on isn't, too, isn't a bad idea. But it can be blocked, so... Yeah, even Mallow's doing decent damage. And these guys are... Uh, using Crystal on them. Crystal is an Ice-type special move. They're also called Cluster. I almost said the wrong thing, because there's a recolor later that's a, got a different name. Um, now, clusters, you got to be careful with them. I'll show off why in a bit. The, the first thing you got to be careful of is they have a decent bit of uh, HP, and they can use powerful moves like uh, Crystal. Uh, crystal's uh, I mean, it's not the most powerful move, but it's powerful enough. And there's the regular attack of Enigmas that I did not block. They do a good bit of damage, too. Damage is uh, going up starting the Moleville Mountains. So you want to be kind of careful. Alright, we got Toad Guy in here. Hey, have you heard? There's a rare item hidden in the mines. If I find it, I'm gonna sell it to someone in town. I'm in it for the money. Nice to know your priorities. There are kids, uh, missing in this place, but all you care about is getting rich. And this is the, uh, entrance that was blocked off when the star fell in. <laughs> now that rare item is not a, uh, <coughs> not something we need to complete the dungeon. Um, Instead, he's going to open up a special Moleville Mountain Shop, which will have three items available. The first two, nothing really all that special. The third one, I'll be getting that one for sure. There's a springboard there. That looks like a bad idea. Let's just move on. These guys give a lot of lucky flowers. If you want to uh, kind of grind for coins on a low level run, this is where you do it. Me, I'm going to avoid doing too much grinding. <laughs> ah, here's a new formation. I think I should be able to take all of these guys out in a single turn. Do it? Depends on whether I time it the symbols properly. Worked out pretty well. Hmm, this path is blocked off. We can't go any further. I guess we'll have to figure out how to get past that later. Or maybe not at all. Well, it seems like it's it seems like we should be able to get past it, so it probably will be at all. Okay, now I'm going to show off why you got to be careful of the clusters. I put myself at big risk for this. I'm going to use Thunderbolt. I'm going to wipe them out in one turn with a special attack. Okay, um, I thought they had more HP than that. Okay, never mind then. I will, uh, I'll just have to show that off a little bit later. Using uh, a non timed Thunderbolt. That one's no good. Oof. Well, Magmites don't like Thunder, so if you're having trouble beating them with uh, your physical attacks, that's the way to go. Let's see if we can show off the bomb on attack. It's pretty simple. I had a pretty good job of blocking it there. Alright. Cluster. Defend. And use a non timed Thunderbolt. Psych! 
That is a very dangerous attack. Psych is the first encounter in the game of instant death. Yep, that is a thing in this game, and it's going to become more of a thing. And basically, they will use uh, Psych if they are hit with a... Sp I think... I don't know if it's any special move or just, like, uh, elemental special moves, but... <laughs> Regardless, I'm not going to risk it. Except, well... I can use Thunderbolt, but uh, timed Thunderbolt to take him down, so I'll do that, but... Instant death in this game, uh... Instant death can be blocked, with the exception of, I think, a single move. So, you time it well, you won't take any damage. If you time it poorly, you'll survive but be left with 1 HP, as you can see here. And if you don't uh, time your defense properly, well, uh, be prepared to go down. <laughs> now I'll show that you can use uh, special move. you can use healing special moves outside of battle. As per usual. It's not something that will happen all that often, actually, in this game, but... Well, you can do it, so... There you go. Um... <laughs> We're close to a couple level-ups, too. But it's gonna be, uh, probably a little bit before that happens. I want to destroy you. Yeah, here's another, uh, formation. Two Sparkies, one Baba. There we go. You'll notice that, uh... <laughs> uh the characters kind of back off before, uh, the Bob bombs are defeated. I think that's kind of a nifty little, uh... <laughs> nifty little, uh, thing. Uh, it's like... Oh yeah, let's not let the bomb, uh... <laughs> Explode right next to us. Lots of HP. These guys have a recolor later that gave me a lot of trouble a long time ago. <coughs> uh, kind of par for the course because the dungeon they're in gave me a lot of trouble. You'll see that later. And we actually have some Bob Bomb Overworld sprites. Which leads us to two Bob Bombs and a cluster. Where are you quickly? And hey, they give defense up flowers too. So that's them and Sparkies in the same uh, dungeon. More of enemies give up defense flowers than I remember. Oh, hey, and, uh, got a pick-me-up. I think it's the Magmites that drop those. Oh. Oh, here's a fun little, uh... Formation. Two Enigmas, two Sparkies. One Mario getting, uh, silenced. But he did get an HP max floor. So that's pretty nice. Have we seen a Sparky attack? I don't think we have. That's one thing they do. That's the regular attack. Let's Geno beam this dude. I don't use Geno's specials very often. Oh yeah, he jumps up if it's an enemy in the air. Perfect defense. So let's see, will he uh, decide to show off? Nope. They can do Drain too, but uh, he doesn't seem to want to do it, so I'm not going to wait around for it. Wow, that was a lot of experience points. Mario reaches level 10. And learns Super Flame. 
increases the H and HP level. And Gino levels up too. So, and Gino learns Gino Boost. Gino Boost is uh, kind of nice. I'll show both of those off in a little bit. And there's Pommel. Pommel is, quite fittingly, the husband of Mommel. <coughs> Mario, you come to save us. One problem, though, this is a dead end. We'd need a bomb to blast through there. Think you can find one? Uh, I've been fighting bombs all over the place, but uh, I don't think that's what we're looking for. Well... There are no bombs outside. There are no bombs inside that I can use. There's really only one option to do. I have to try and knock a bomb out of the rafters! Hiya! Well, that didn't work. Oh, hey, look who's back! Croco! Coins! Beautiful coins! Grab the coins! Listen up, let's leave this half wit Mario here and split. Anyone got a beef with that? Hey, you shouldn't have jumped on me, you woke me up. Oh, oh, he took the coins! Chase Croco and get those coins back! Yes! How terrible! He took my coins! That's something that I could not possibly recover with just a little bit of grinding against enemies. Whatever shall I do, I must go back and get them. The coins are a means to the end. We need to beat Krako! But, uh, we're gonna wait a little bit before we do that. Oh boy, looks like a dead end here. But not to worry. I've got a bomb! Never leave home without him. The airport would not, uh, very much like Krako's bag there. Well, it does open our, our passage there. And then Chuck a pick me up. And use a flower tab because why not? I'll be getting more of them. And so this room is opened up. This room is nothing special, but uh, it kind of kind of it kind of forms a loop, basically. <laughs> so we'll be coming out in a room we've already cleared out pretty much. But I'll just clear out this room so that we can uh, do our thing pretty much unhindered. And one more. Alright, now through here. Rocco rushes out, and we have to chase after him. Now is the chase sequence. He'll appear... He'll basically run in a loop, so you have to beat him by either intercepting him or running after him. But... He's got flunkies, and we want to take those guys out, because they have items who want. Let's show off Geno Boost and give them a chance to run away. So Geno Boost raises attack. Time it right, you also raise defense. I think it's a 50% boost, basically. It's pretty nice for boss battles. <coughs> you can make yourself stronger, make yourself take less damage, all at once. Wow, those guys gave a lot more experience than I remember. Uh, now learns Shocker. He is a Shocker, isn't he? Just you wait, we'll get you for this! Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday! Have the coins, but he dropped a flower tap. Whoop. And, uh. Yeah. So Krako keeps running around while you're in battle. If you want to avoid him and get all the flower tabs, because there are three flunkies and three flower tabs, you want to make sure you stay out of the way. Oh, hey, once again. That's pretty nice. I think these guys may be variants that run less for some reason. But they give a ton of experience for this uh, point in the game. 
Also, they are, we're never going to fight them. <laughs> so, their threats kind of are uh, pretty... pretty weak, I guess you'd say. Way to go, Mal. <laughs> it could have just been one turn, but you had to miss with symbols. Alright. And that's all the, uh... That's all the, uh... Flunkies, so now all we have to do is basically wait for Crocker. He'll run right into us. <laughs> if we're aligned correctly. So, I'm gonna pick up a Geno Boost on Mario, and then show you Super Flame. Super Flame is basically Fire Orb, except much bigger. Much, much bigger. 259 damage! Krako is still weak to fire, by the way. And still not very weak to uh, So he likes to throw bombs. And yeah, let's try Shocker. Shocker is kind of expensive. 8, uh, eight FP, but... Oh boy. <laughs> Hit that right, and you're doing a heck of a lot of damage. You want them back? You've got to take me down first. Now, Croco just stole our items. So, we get them back at the end of the battle, but, uh, you bet we want to make sure that you're kind of equipped before you, that happens. I think it does mean he's got about half the HP down. And, uh, so you saw that he, uh, you saw that he, uh, also threw out, used uh, an attack called Chomp in which he threw something out at us. It throws out a random, uh, one of a uh, random selection of sprites. And the sprite used doesn't uh, do any extra damage. It's just kind of a weird visual thing. It also makes you wonder what the heck he has in that bag, because I'm gonna keep it all in there. Let's see if he can if he'll demonstrate one more of that. Yeah. Yep, that one was an Amanita. He doesn't have much longer to go, though, so... Nice, Mario. <sighs> really? Both of you? I want to say he can also steal your frog coins. I at least seem to remember that, but I don't... I don't know if that's actually true or not. It'd be kind of pointless for him, too, because the frog coins don't really have any effect in, uh, in battle. Youch! Enough already! Here's your junk. I'm out of here. So we got our items back, we got all our coins back, <coughs> and we got one of his bombs. So, let's just keep on going. <laughs> 